10 health tips your doctor wants you to follow how many do you make 1. stay hydrated almost 97 percent of our body is made up of water as adults this figure drops slightly but is still around 75 percent the vast majority of our brain cells are simply water and even our teeth have a water content of 10 percent every cell function in our body is related to our fluid levels in some way the blood and immune systems that fight cancer need water to clear waste cells healthy cells work by absorbing nutrients from the water don't wait until you're thirsty drink water all day long to help your body get optimal hydration two take time to sleep well while there is no simple answer to the amount of normal sleep most adults should aim for between seven and nine hours a night three eat well a balanced diet doesn't have to be difficult or complicated, the general key is to eat the right number of calories for your activity. If you eat or drink too much, you will gain weight. If you eat and drink too little, you will lose weight. The average man needs around 2,500 calories a day the average woman needs about 2,000 calories. Eat a wide range of foods to ensure a balanced diet. 4. If you have to, lose weight. A healthy and balanced diet plays an essential role in maintaining a healthy weight, which is an important element of good general health. Overweight or obesity can lead to health problems such as type 2 diabetes, certain cancers, heart disease and stroke. 5. Move more. Physical activity can assist you maintain weight loss or maintain a healthy weight, but being active doesn't necessarily mean spending hours at the gym try getting off the bus one stop earlier on the way home from work and walking taking the stairs to work rather than the elevator. Just find something you enjoy doing, be it cycling, running, dancing or gardening, and do more. 6. Stop smoking. Quitting smoking is probably the biggest step you can take to improve your health. Almost half of smokers die from smoking-related illnesses. If you are a long-term smoker, on average, your life expectancy is about 10 years lower than that of a non-smoker. Smokers who quit before age 45 have a life expectancy close to that of people who have never smoked. For people over this age, the gap is widening, but smokers who quit over the age of 45 still enjoy considerable health benefits compared to people that still smoke. 7. Take your medication correctly. Non-compliance with medicines, failure to take medicines on time at the prescribed doses, is a huge problem in the world although the hard facts are a bit difficult to find for obvious reasons, that at least 50% of patients do not adhere to chronic drug treatment leading to poor control of their medical conditions and all the risks associates who go with that. You should always take medication as directed by your doctor, even if your symptoms go away. If you are not sure why you are taking a certain drug, do not stop taking it but tell your doctor. 8. Wash your hands. Washing your hands is one among the foremost effective contributions you'll make the foremost effective contributions you'll make to public health, second only to vaccination in terms of its effectiveness in reducing infection. Use warm water in soap, or an alcohol hand cleansing gel if this is impractical, to wash your hands after eating go to the toilet blow your nose cough, or sneeze in your hands after handling with household before preparing or eating food if you care for a sick person, or if you have lenses removed or removed. 9. Cover in the sun. People used to associate a deep tooth with good health, but it is actually a sign of serious skin damage. The increasing number of skin cancer cases in the United Kingdom, especially among young people, show the price that can be paid. The use of sunbeds further increases this risk. People most in danger are those with smooth skin, especially people with blonde or red hair with bacon, people who are sunburned within the past, especially with blushes, and even if this happened many years before. If you have more than 10 times, your risk also increases with sunbeds, or if there is a history of skin cancer in your family. 10. Relax. We all get stressed from time to time, but chronic stress is not only bad for your health in general, it can prevent you from also relaxing when you have the chance. Using relaxation techniques can relieve the symptoms of stress and also help to create stressful situations, which will allow you to take over your emotions and get rid of your head. All relaxation techniques combine breathing techniques together with muscle relaxation and it may take time to learn these skills, don't worry if it seems strange at first. Keep practicing and it will come. Some people find that yoga or tai chi classes are a good way to improve both breathing and relaxation. If you like the video please subscribe my channel and tap bell icon thanks for watching.